What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Cap the Gamer, not Chavich Gaming Channel, of course. Now, today's video, the Xbox emulation videos are back and online. Now, before you skip this part, please, please, please do not skip this intro part because I'm going to explain to you exactly how the Discord server links works and why I can't actually post the links on my channel anymore. So to start with, basically on this side here of the screen, you will see pretty much the Discord Xbox emulation hub. Now, the way it works is there's basically a notification and announcement. So you'll see the traffic light system here on the right hand side, I'll show you a screenshot of. Basically, when it's got a big green tick, it means that the links are active, they are public, you can go on your Xbox using the Microsoft Edge browser and download them straight to your Xbox. The instructions are all on the Discord server, so you shouldn't have any trouble downloading them. Now, if you want to get the links and the servers are down, you can become a patron, I believe it's called, where basically you donate, I think it's $1 or one pound a month to the actual person who's actually helping to make these emulation programs. Now, I'll have a screenshot here as you can see. This is basically the Patreon um, Discord server members only page, where basically if you donate one pound to the individual, um, each time the links are down, he will upload it but to do that he needs your email address so you email him your email address that you use for your xbox account only so no other email addresses wait for him to send you a direct message and basically he would have given you access to the programs even though they are down from the public server now that's if you really really want to and you're happy to spend the one pound to do it i mean i only did it just to test it so you guys don't have to it's completely up to you if you want the free version which is what we're all about here the free guides here if you want the free version then you're gonna have to use the discord server again here and just wait for the traffic light system to be tick all green now today it is exactly friday the 17th as of 12 p.m in the afternoon the links are all active so you've got your retro arch your dolphin emulator xena the xbox 360 emulator they are all available to download right now so you can go ahead and download that by the time this video comes out it's probably going to be gone 12 o'clock but i'm aiming to get it out today so the link should all be active now before you comment in the comment section later on if you watch this video at a later date saying the links are down whatever it is if you go onto my youtube channel here there is a community tabs part on my channel now what i'm going to be doing is each time the servers are updated or the links are available, I'm going to put it on the notifications on the community tab. So I will keep an eye on the Discord server alerts page. So once it's active and the links are there, I'm going to be posting on my community tabs page so you can see it there. So if you do want to be kept up to date with working links and you're watching this video at a later date, just subscribe to the channel so you can see my community tabs every time the links are active, I'll be posting them. Now, the other part that I need to quickly cover for you guys is basically I am not allowed to share the links directly to you guys anymore. Apparently a lot of YouTube accounts are being banned and being blocked the videos because of sharing the things. So I can't really exactly give you the links for it, but by all means, you can copy the links that you see in the video that I am using. They may still be up there working, they may not be, but you get the idea what I'm saying. So. Anyways guys, let's get straight into the video. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get straight into the 2023 Xbox Series X emulation guides I've begun. All right guys, so I kept talking about the Discord server that you need to join. So this is it here, the Xbox emulation hub. Now you can see the retail app state has currently got a green tick. So if I go ahead on here, you can see the green tick means the public free apps are up. So basically, it means the links are available to download the emulator. So if I go on to announcements and I go to retail announcements, click here, wait for it to load. Here you go. It was uploaded yesterday and we've got a green tick. So the emulators, Dolphin, RetroArch, XBSX2, Xena Canary, all the other ones, all the updates, they should all be active now. So we're going to go on the Xbox quickly and try and see if we can download them from using the links here whilst the server status is still on green so let's go ahead and do that now on the xbox all right guys i just want to show you it literally working in real time here so you can see here i've got the xbox running here it's on elgato 4k capture card so it's literally running my xbox here through the pc um, and on the other side here i've got the discord server with all the links so i'm going to quickly show you my xbox just to show you guys i actually don't have these apps installed. so you can see the only ones i've got is dolphin flycast 
PSP, P Gold, Retro Arch, and FTP. I don't have any other emulators. I'm going to literally use the links that you can see here on the right hand side, type them into my browser, and I'm going to go ahead and see if we can download them. So let's start with the. Let's go for the Zilla Canario because that's one that I'm trying to get a hold of that I've been struggling with. This should hopefully open up this. Yep, please, fingers crossed, it should be in the App Store. Please be there, please be there. It's there. Get in. So, there we go. Right, install it straight away. Right, come back out of that. Go back to the browser. Next one. If we've got XPS X2, come on, I really like this one. This is the PS2 emulator. Yes, get in. Right, let's install them. VV. Right, this should be for the latest other retro arts. Um, once you get these guys, the important thing is you actually have to run the app straight away. If you just install it and you don't actually run it, it's not going to be available. So literally I've installed Xena, I'm going to literally run it now. If I don't run it for the first time, okay that's fine, it's not going to be available the next time I log in because it's, that's just the way the apps work I think. So let's just done the Xena one, what's the next one I've got to do? PSX2 perfect yep yeah, that's working bang on okay and then we should have retroarch leave this to install you can see here it's literally installing it here so again guys please do just follow the discord server links um by the time this video comes out they may be down again they may be I don't know but if they are, literally just follow them like I have. So guys, that is the end of the video. So as you can see, the links are all working. I have downloaded them all. And bearing in mind, this is a brand new Xbox. My old Xbox, which had all the emulation programs, has gone. I sold that one and I went and got a brand new Xbox. So there was no emulation apps on there. So I did a fresh brand new 2023 install. So for anyone who's struggling or saying the links are not available, well, I've just put it on a brand new Xbox that hasn't got any other programs and you can see in the video here that you've just watched there actually wasn't any emulation programs I had to go and download them all from scratch so they are all working and the steps are very simple and easy to follow now my next video I'm going to be doing step-by-step in-depth guide of the Dolphin emulator here the Xena emulator up here and a few other oh what's the other one the Dreamcast emulator I'm going to be doing an in-depth guide of setting up the emulators and how they work and things like that so if you want to see that you know what to do hit the subscribe button hit the like button and if you've really enjoyed the video and you appreciate the work that i'm doing behind the scenes to bring you all, all some content as much as i can then you can always donate to the channel by using the super thanks button it's completely up to you i mean it helps go towards the channel any donation so please feel free to do that anyways guys that is the end of the video i'll be back next time and very soon so don't forget Keep an eye on those community tabs for any updated server links. Until next time guys, thank you for watching, take care.